Hi everyone, this is Ethos again bring you another Marvel Legends review, which is the figure in front of us, the AIM Scientist Supreme. So before we talk about the figure itself, let's have a look at the boxes. Yep, just another normal design of the Marvel Legends, just the uh, same as the other ways. And then you can see a nice drawing of him. I like this drawing a lot actually, you see. So here it does so show some aim agents, but in the back we couldn't see the lower agents, but we could see there's two again at his back. And then you could pause here if you would like to read the description. So he comes with the right arm of Sam Newt. We'll talk about later on on Sam Newt's review video. And then yeah, he also comes with a tablet, which nothing too special. Yep, nothing too special. But it's pretty good, you can see. I think kind of a tablet showing the work progress or something like that. I don't think this is a weapon, but correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. So, I like him a lot actually. The gold color is pretty good. They actually use a few kinds of gold color. They show the packs and also his body is different. Here it does paint it. And then this one, his hat also is a little bit different from the other gold color. It's not the uh, yellow color we have on the AIM agents. I'll compare him with the AIM agents later on. And also a bit different from what we got from MODOK. So. Let's talk about the articulation of the figure first. So his head. His head, you can see he looks up that much. And then bend down that much, he could. Then Yeah, 360 swivel, the neck swivel. And then his hands would go up that much. But with the shoulder pad blocking a little bit and then actually he could turn 360 just the shoulder pad blocking and then he has a 360 swivel a double joint elbow and then his hands he could go up that much yeah and he could bend down that much and then that much so it doesn't have a waist swivel but he does with uh, with his bicep yeah and then his feet kick up that much both sides and then you kick up that much and then a 360 swivel again double joint knee just normal articulation you expect and then he could go down that much and go up that much and last but not least the angle pivot oops i turned him a little bit yeah so yeah looking good actually Yeah, looking good. So let me change the angle a little bit. Yep. One thing I hope is actually he comes with other hands instead of both hands just giving us the uh, grabbing or holding tablet hands, holding something. I think he does need a fist hand or an open hand. Yeah, for me. Even for draw, even for the, for the comic. The drawing you see he has a first hand. I do wish they gave us a first hand instead of just both grabbing hands. Yeah, but I think this could easily custom made where we could buy another pair of hands and just put some paint job on him. So let's do some size comparisons. So he stands at around 7 inches tall, six and a half, more than 6.5 but around 7. Yeah, which is a pretty tall figure compared to the others. And then here we have Modok with an AIM agent. Looks very good actually. And I like the three of them have different yellow color and, and plus gold color. You can see, which is very good. I'm 
I'm wishing I could get more AIM agents in Hong Kong. I'm not sure we have or not. I didn't check out the AIM agents for quite some time. And also the Hydra agents, I'm going to buy them back and put the Hydra agents with Rescal and then the AIM uh, agents, the soldiers with MODOK and uh, AIM organization. I wish Hasbro gave us more AIM characters. Yeah, looks very good actually. And nonetheless, we have one of the best presentation of MODOK ever. Hasbro did a really great job. Then here we have two uh, SHF Iron Man. On the left hand side is the Mark 45 from the Age of Ultron movie. And then the right hand side we have the Mark 50 from the Infinity War movie. I wish MCU will have a proper pres and, and, uh, presentation of the AIM. I'm wondering how they will portray the AIM organization. They still haven't really mentioned it besides the uh, minor mentions in uh, Iron Man 3, but I still was hoping how to go on in, in the phase 4 MCU. So also we could see actually these two Iron Mans are kind of out of... Uh, they kind of work actually. The scale is a little bit shorter. Those who what SHF always uh, Oh, and on the left side we also see my Iron Man 45 style, the red color kinds of coming out already. I kind of turned to pink. And this one actually, if you're wondering, this is actually a custom made uh, weapon set from a Hong Kong uh, shop. Yeah. Then here we have two comic uh, Iron Man. On the left hand side we have the Mexico Invisible Iron Man and on the right hand side with the Marvel Legends 80th Anniversary Classic Iron Man. Both looks pretty good. Actually I did take a lot of photos using this Iron Man with the Aim Sign the Supreme which looks great. You could actually check out on uh, at the end of the video. And this right hand side I think this is a bit too classical uh, compared to the Aim agent and I'll just swap this one with this is the Iron Man we've got most recently from the Shang-Chi line the AI Iron Man yeah I think this this looks better than, than this one actually uh, compared with uh, to looking together with the AIM Scientist Supreme so Iron Man is a bit shorter than him actually shorter than the AIM Scientist Supreme then here we have on the left hand side the Doc Battle World Doctor Doom and on the right hand side Baroness from the G.I. Joe Classified series. So I feel like these two I I should put them together because one so one in silver and one in gold, which looks good. And Baroness, yeah, kind of a sky high rocket since this release and then still waiting Hasbro to uh, re release. I know a lot of people are waiting for that. So in the end, Hasbro gave us another amazing super villain. Uh, this really captures the Aim Sand Supreme from the comic book. Yeah, and I like all the colors they use, the blue color and the gold. Actually, these are two different golds. The shoulder pack and the body parts are different golds. I just wish they could add some more, maybe some black in here. And you know, so the holes, yeah, kind of the the lower part of him, kind of a bit plain to me. But I know he does look like this, uh, in also in the com and the comic. And one thing I wish is just they gave us more hands, just like the red skull treatment. Yeah, I do wish he have another pair of hands instead of just two pairs of uh, grabbing um, tablet hands. Yeah. So I like this a lot, strongly recommend you to get this one also. And if you like my video, feel free to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay till the end of the video and take a look at my pictures. I do pay a lot of effort in taking those pictures actually. And yeah, see you.